nerds, what's up? Today we are going to be showing you my library haul because I don't have a real haul and then I will also do my TBR for the month in this video even though it's already about midway through the month, but that's okay, we're gonna do it anyway. So the books that I got out of the library, a little sneak peek there, are Otherworld by Jason Siegel. Is it Jason Siegel? Like, is that who wrote this book? Like, the Jason Siegel? Or is it a different Jason Siegel that I don't know about? This is the biannual bibliothon book for the week-long readathon that I am not hosting this time around, but it's still happening. And this is the book that they will be live showing about that I might join if I actually get to it. Hoping to get to it, obviously, that's why it's here. If you don't know what the biannual bibliothon is, it's a week-long readathon that happens twice a year, and usually I do host it, but this time I took a break, and they do seven Seven video challenges, seven reading challenges, a live show at the end, eight giveaways, like a partridge in a pear tree. It's happening the third week of January, so this is the book that they picked. The next book I picked up from the library was Attachments by Rainbow Rowell, and this is the only Rainbow Rowell book I haven't read yet. It except for Kindred Spirits, which is technically a novella. Um, and this is also an adult book, and so that is going along with one of my reading resolutions to read more adult books, and I figured that this was a good place to start. It says it's Rainbow Rowell, and I did love Landline when I read it. The next book I picked up was Renegades by Marissa Meyer. This is the Biblio Book Club pick for November through January. This is the book that the Bibliothon girls read together. We have a quarterly read along. We do a live show on the Bibliothon channel all together for those of us who do read it because it's very chill. Not all seven of us are in it every single time. The new Marissa Meyer book, I don't know much about this, so this is actually going to be on my Bibliothon TBR, which will be coming up shortly. I really liked Heartless by Marissa Meyer, so I'm hoping I like this too. Maybe if I like this one also, then it'll convince me to actually read Cinder by Marissa Meyer. The next three books I got from the library were some graphic novels. I'm excited. And they are the East of West series, volumes one, two, oops, and three. <laughs> when number two wanted to just jump right on out. I don't really know what this is about, but I'm pretty sure that it is a, like, a western zombie mm, space western. I'm making stuff up as I go along. I have no idea. But I'm hoping to get to this series. I'm hoping I'll like it enough to continue on with it. So we shall see. This also goes along with that graphic novel thing that I said in my New Year's resolutions. Because I like graphic novels. And the last book that I picked up from the library is my favorite one. Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. This is the sassy book club book pick for January 2018. It's weird. I've never done anything like this by myself before. How do I do it? These are the books that I picked up from the library this time around. And I just have a couple more books that I want to show you for my January TBR. That doesn't include the Bibliothon TBR, although some of these do. Otherworld is definitely a Bibliothon TBR, and so is Renegades. But like, I still am hoping to read a couple more books. The other two books that I'm adding to my TBR, which one I've actually already finished, first book of the year, was Because You Love to Hate Me, edited by Amory. It has a bunch of different authors. It has booktubers in it. It was really good. I don't want to talk about it yet because it'll be in my wrap-up. And the other book that I do want to get to this month along with all of these other ones, why am I doing this to myself so early in the year, is Fucked by Christina Hutchinson, Hutchinson and Corinne Fisher, being sexually explorative and self-confident in a world that's screwed. These two ladies are the owners and creators of the podcast called Guys We Fucked. They're two comedians who live in New York City and they also are a duo like for comedians that's called Sorry About Last Night. And then they made this podcast called Guys We Fucked, which started out initially literally being interviews with men that one of them had previously had sex with in the past. I love, especially the beginning of that podcast when that was what they were doing, they have opened up their horizons for the podcast and they do all sorts of different interviews with like women and men who are in different types of like sex industry book version of their podcast I guess and so the little part that I do want to read is what well, you'll also learn about why shame is completely made up and how we can stop giving into it sexual exploration and how it sometimes ends in a trip to the ER 
<laughs> Stuff we should stop doing, snooping, nitpicking our bodies, and faking orgasms. Asking your sexual partner uncomfortable questions, masturbation, threesomes, porn, sex toys, butt stuff, and much, much more. I saw them in November of last year, literally the day after Trump got elected, and it was the best and also one of the most emotional comedy shows I've ever seen. It was really weird. That is my TBR for January minus the Bibliothon and also the books that I got out of the library for this month. I will also be coming at you with a Bibliothon TBR coming up here shortly. Subscribe if you want and make sure to comment down below what book should I pick up first? I'm currently reading Stranger Dream Girl. What book should I pick up after that? <laughs> Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and all that fun stuff. It's all linked down below. The Goodreads page for Strange the Dreamer, if you want to join and be a member of the Sassy Book Club, is also linked down below. So check out all those things in the description box. And I'll see you guys very soon with a new video. Bye! I wish I